welcome to the show! I am Wolfie Bane, your host for today, and we are back! And we are going to be doing, it's been a while since we've done one of these, another Pokemon tier list. I said that I was going to do this particular tier list for a while. I've been teasing the idea, and I went, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I, I literally was like, I don't really feel like playing, like, streaming Rogue today. So what are we going to do? And I went, I've been meaning to do the Rank the Dragons. So we have got a tier list up, which has, I believe, that is every single dragon type Pokemon. Yeah, I think that is every single dragon type, including the Megas, in Pokemon. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot less than you'd think. Uh, despite there still being a good few. I think the only thing that's actually missing is the Zygarde, like, 1% form. Hey, bud! We're gonna be ranking my favourite type today. So, I have, on obviously, the... The seven tiers of the only things that matter. So, at the bottom, we have F tier. I don't know if you guys can read it. Do tell me if you can. Yeah, ranking the dragon types. Am I completely correct as the dragon tamer of my of the people I know? I am the dragon tamer in Pokemon. And I'm going to be ranking all the dragons in my completely honest, uh, unbiased in any way, completely fair, legitimate, the reason why they're the best. <coughs> cool. Uh, so we have F tier. Gonna be honest, don't think there are any dragons in this tier. Um, basically, uh, I I like every single dragon Pokemon. Um, at least to a degree. So, we're not really gonna have a... I don't think there are gonna be any in F tier. There might be one. One. I can only think of one that even might go in the F tier. But I don't think it will be. We will also be adjusting these as we go to go... Like, what do I feel? Because I know how I feel about, like, 90% of dragons. <laughs> but, yeah. I I like nearly every single... I, like, I, I think every single dragon Pokemon is at least okay. There is a hard flaw on the dragons, and they're already, like, decent. Because they got the dragon type. Uh, so, yeah. F, don't think there's going to be any dragons in this tier, gotta be honest. E tier. Hey. I've also spelt hey wrong, I've just realized. I spelt it H A Y. I've spelt it like straw. There you go. E tier. Hey. At least it's still a dragon type, so that's something. Uh, that is probably when it's going to be where most of the low tier dragons are going to go. There's, there's a couple. Uh... Oh, also, we're going to be doing left is my favorites of the, each tier, and it's, I'm going to try and order them in where I like them. Uh, progressively from the others, and uh, th three of them, there's going to be a few Pokemon at the top end, which are going to be um, fighting for a spot. Let's put it that way. Uh, yeah. D tier. D. It stands for dragon. If you get that reference, I salute you. Uh, but yeah, D tier is going to be pretty good still. Uh, they are, they are going to be like average, I think. Is on the dragons. Uh, e is going to be the dragons that I think are just okay. <laughs> um, four dragon types. Which is basically significantly above a lot of other ones. <laughs> uh, C tier. Come on. How can you not love this? Uh, these are going to be some of the ones that I've just... I have a soft spot for. Like, they're not in my favourites. But... I, I really do like them. They are cool Pokemon still. There's, I, I know I know at least one Pokemon that's guaranteed, I think, to go in the C tier. Um, I see. C and above, I like. I actively like everything in C tier and above. Oh, yeah. Every Mega, every regional. Hell, can, convenient for Dragon, there's only two, two regionals. Uh, we have got every Mega, every regional, every form of a Dragon. Uh, that includes... We've even got Gigantamaxes on here. Uh, we've got Paradoxes. We've got Legendaries. We got the lot. We have the Ultra Beast. We have the Uber form of a Pokemon. We got them. Oh, yeah. We're doing the lot. 
We have everyone on this tier list. I, it took me quite a while to actually find one that had every single one. Uh, okay. B, very simple. Based. Based tier. That's all it is. They're, they're great. They are the very good dragons. A. Really, 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 really. Ah! Those are the ones that just miss out on the top spots for me. Um, they are awesome Pokemon. I, I think I know a few that are going to be in that tier on, on this list. Uh, and then S tier, the top tier, my favorites. A lot of these are my favorite Pokemon in existence. So, uh, the sound, the R is the sound one, one dragon makes. Ah! Uh, and he might be going in that tier. <laughs> it's going to be honest. He might be going in that tier. Uh, and then S, dragons eat goats. That's the top tier. Most of my favorite, a lot of my favorites are going to be in there. Uh, I might do a few more of these tier lists, but I thought I'd at least test the waters with a dragon. I might go through and do all the types at some point. I might make this an actual, like, thing. Uh, they're going to be few and far between and whenever I feel like them. Whenever I'm in the mood to do a tier list. But, hey. I've got a busted shoulder because I went bowling with my dad and my sister. I got destroyed because I forgot how to bowl. Uh, I haven't been for uh, like genuinely like ten years, so I hurt my I hurt my shoulder. But and I gotta be up early tomorrow, so want to do something kind of fun. And I do like doing these tier lists, the tier lists every so often. So we are gonna be going through Dex order. Actually, I'd say Dex order, but there's his Swian Gudra, and I know that's before these. So, this is going to be interesting. Mostly in Dex order. So, first of all, we're kicking things off with a Mega. Because, first up is Mega Charizard X. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I fucking love Mega Charizard X. I adore Charizard. Charizard, one of my top three favorite Pokemon. Why is my street, my type, my, my chat not? Gyrtur is an S, I will rage. I, I haven't decided yet. It's up it's up there. I really like Giratina, so it's it's don't worry, Giratina is gonna be in one of these two. I haven't decided which yet. I'm gonna see how the other dragons stack up. But it's definitely one of the top two. Do not worry about that. Actually, does it have origins as well? Does it have the origin forms? It does, okay. Yeah, I think at least one of the origins is going to be an S. I think I think one of the four, one of Giratina's is going to be an S at least. So yeah, Mega Charizard X. I'm going to be honest. Let's put you. No, get get the fuck up. Right to the top, off the bat. Charizard is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, it was obviously going to be on the top tier. Charizard, as it Charizard itself is one of my three favorite Pokemon. Two of the, the other two are on this list. Uh, Charizard is the only dragon, uh, the only non-true dragon in the top ones. But I love Mega Charizard X. I love its design. I had Pokemon X because of it. Because I like both it and I, I love Charizard Y as well. But because I like Mega Charizard Y as well. Because I'm happy. I am one of the people who goes, I'm very happy that Charizard got two designs. Because one is just Charizard but more. That's what Y is to me. I like Charizard, and it's Charizard, but more what Charizard already does, which is cool, and I really like it. Also, it's a drought Pokemon, and I love Sun. Uh, but Charizard X is a cool idea, because they've given it the brawler, like it's the physical attacking beatdown dragon Pokemon, which Charizard always has been kind of in the anime. Uh, Charizard just is willing to throw down and just brawl. Also, if anyone hasn't watched Pokemon Origins, I highly recommend it. It was a mini, it's a little mini series. Uh, it's literally based on the original Red and Blue games, uh, so it's about Red. Uh, he actually gets it because it was uh, before when Gen Six came out. I think it came out. It's like a th like three three episodes, three four episodes. It's a really short series. Uh, the only Pokemon anime I have watched for god twenty years, maybe. Um, and Meg there is Mega Charizard X in it. I will just... Minor spoiler. Mega Charizard X does show up in it. 
And my god does Mega Charizard X just throw down. It was great. So, highly, highly, highly recommend that series. And yeah, Mega Charizard X, I love it. It's more as interesting. I believe it's a Charizard that's dying. Which is kind of interesting, because it's kind of going in that, yeah, Mega Evolution's not stable and things, which is also a nice touch. I love the blue and black color scheme. Um, it, it's, it's, it's pretty much perfect. I love it. I absolutely love Mega Charizard X, so easy, easy clap in the S tier. Now then. Right. Now for Alolan Executor. Now I'm going to be honest. This is my least favorite dragon Pokemon in existence. It is easily my least favorite. Uh, but here's the thing. It's going in E tier. For now. If it goes in F tier, it will be later and it will really have been a decider. But yeah, I do not like Alolan Executor that much. What I will give it, it's got a cool signature move. Dragon Hammer is a really cool move. Uh, it's the heaviest grass type, which is just a nice bit of neat. Also, it's base. I like that it, what it's based on because the tree that it's based on. I will agree it's better than normal executor. That is one of the reasons why I, it's like, it's it's all right. I, I don't despise it. It's a mid. It's mid for me. It's got cooler bit. It's got a cooler thing. It's got an interesting ability. It's got like, um, it's got, I think it's got harvest, which is kind of cool. Um, it's, it's not an awful Pokemon beyond imagining. It's got its it's perks. I love that the tree it's based on is literally the dragon tree, which is why it's a dragon Pokemon. It is the heaviest grass type, I believe. It's heavier than... It's insanely heavy. It's, it's something weird. Yeah, it, it, I believe it is actually the heaviest grass Pokemon. No, it's heavier than Torterra. It's a lot heavier than Torterra, I believe. Uh, it's neat. I think it's literally in its dex entry. This is the heaviest grass type. Which is just kind of cool, right? It's a giant fucking tree. It's really big. It's like 30 feet tall or something like that. So, nice, nice just bit of trivia there. It's kind of cool. I don't mind it. But it's my least favorite dragon type. So, th there's that. Cool. That, that's all I got to say on it. It's, it's, it's there. It's there. It's also very memorable. I will give it that. It's memorable for a bad reason. But, hey, at least it's memorable for something. Uh... So, now, Dratini. I'm going to be honest. Dratini, I love Dratini. I think it's so cute, okay? Dratini is an adorable little Pokemon. Dratini, for me, is going in C tier. I like it. I mean, it, it literally is one of the poster children for, come on, how can you not love this? It's so adorable. I, I really like Dratini. I think it's a really cool design. It's sleek. It's nice. It looks exactly, it, it's like, you look at that and you go, that's a dragon. That's a dragon type. He's like, that's a, that's a baby dragon. It is the quintessential baby dragon, and I adore it. I've, I've always liked Rotini. It's a very, very cool Pokemon. It's very cute. I love it. Dragonair. Now, Dragonair is going in the tier above. Dragonair is my favorite. Second best design. It's, it's amazing. It's a fantastic one, uh, Dratini. And then Dragonair, lovely. They literally go, they just upgrade Dratini. To me. That's what that's what it is. I adore Dragonair. Uh really, really love the Pokemon. Uh it's got a it's a beautiful colour. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous design. I actually quite like using it as well. I've I've used Eevee like Dragonair before. It's pretty fun. Uh so yeah, I like it. It's a gorgeous design. And yeah, it's it's Gen 1, it's classic. It's it's what I grew up with as well, so. Lots of positives, lots of props uh, for the middle evolution of this Pokemon. Now then, Dragonite. Here's where we get to it. Here's a, here's probably the most controversial point for the day. Uh, Dragonite, you're going in E tier. I don't particularly like Dragonite, okay? Uh, it's fine to use. It's all right. D, uh, that's fair. Uh, for me, it's going in E. I don't like it. It reminds me of Barney the Dinosaur or like an inflate, one of those inflatable T-Rexes you could get for like three quid at a shop when I was a kid. 
I don't like it. It's also, it's annoying to me because it's a dragon type. And it comes out of Dragonair. Yeah, it, it's like they made Charizard derpy. Like for me, honestly, if Dragonite was the final form of the fire starter Charmander, I wouldn't have hated it. I like Charizard a lot more because Charizard's significantly cooler. But it looks like it comes from a different Pokemon. Also, Dragonite being the original dragon, I don't like. Uh, because of it, it is one of the things. Uh, I've, I've got a, a working theory, uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm right on it. Dragonite's line came after the Legendary Birds, I believe, in the Pokedex. And here's the thing. Those are the only three. Like, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite are the only three dragons in Gen 1. But there are at least two other Pokemon that should have had the dragon type put on. Three if you count Aerodactyl, but honestly, I think Aerodactyl's a better flying type. Uh, Dra uh, Charizard should be dragon type. And even if you go, oh, but balance, at least Gyarados should have been dragon type. Come on. It, it, it deserves dragon more than flying. <laughs> Come on. So, yes. Uh, Charizard and uh, Gyarados should have been dragon types. And Dragonite's just a real downgrade. It's a massive downgrade, a big disappointment. I have seen a lot of people say that they think that Dragonair's evolution originally was going to be Gyarados. And I like that. I genuinely think that's a kind of a cool idea. Yeah, it should have, Gyarados absolutely should have been a water dragon. 100%. It's literally, the entire lore about it is it's, is it's being a sea dragon. Uh, because it's the carp that goes up the waterfall. So, yeah. I don't like Dragonite. Never a big fan. I used to despise this Pokemon when I was younger. As I've gotten older, I don't mind it. It's, it's grown on me. But I still don't particularly like it. It's still one of my least favorite dragons. Um... Easily my least favorite pseudo legendary. So you know where the bar is, by the way, guys, on pseudos. No pseudo is getting below E tier. If I don't think any... I'm not sure any of the other pseudos are going to even be in D tier, I'm going to be honest. I like every pseudo legendary. Dragonite's by far my least favorite. Now, Mega Ampharos is next up. I like Mega Ampharos. I am going to put it... C tier? Do I want to eat C tier? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Mega Anthros in C tier. Basis fuck. Ah, it could be B. I'm trying to decide if I like it more than Dratini. Is the main point at the moment. I really, really like what they went for. It. It's it's around here. It's one of these two tiers, definitely. Do you wanna be B tier? Do I think do I like it enough to be B tier? No, nah, no. Nah. I'll leave you in C tier. I might change my mind on um, Mega Ampharos later, but I like the Pokemon. I, I've i loved Ampharos already, okay? Ampharos is one of my favorite electric types. Low to mid B. I would put it cur currently in a high C instead. I don't think I prefer it more than Dratini. It's the main one. It's close with Dratini. And I put Dratini in C tier and I'm comfy with it in C tier. That's the main reason. I do really, really like it. It's very fun. I like using it. It's a really cool Pokemon. It's a Thunder Dragon. Like, Electro Dragon is just a cool type combo in general. There needs to be more of them. Game Freak, get on that. Make more of them. Oh, yeah, I didn't also mention uh, Mega Charizard X, uh, Fire Dragon type, my favorite type combo in the game. Uh, no other reason. Dragon's my favorite. Fire's my sec second favorite. So, wins. They need more of them. But, yeah, I really, really like Mega Ampharos. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Uh, I, yeah, I really, really like Mega Ampharos. It's a very cool Pokemon. One of my favorite electric types of all time. It's just base. I also love that they've given it Fabio. Also, great point. Uh, which another really adds to it. If you write in Fabio in Pokemon Showdown, search for a Pokemon, Mega Ampharos comes up. Not kidding. That is a thing. <laughs> So yeah, I'm a big fan of Mega Ampharos. Uh, but this is the dragon tier list for me. 
And this is a really, really hard tier list for me because I love all of them. As I say, I love all dragons. They're my, they're my Pokemon type. I really, really like them. So, I, I say Comfy C. Come on, how can you not love this? It's a great Pokemon. It's one of the cool... It's one really, really, really cool Mega. I love it. Kingdra. I genuinely like Kingdra. Kingdra was for a good while my favourite water type. Um, it was... It, it, like, won me over a bit. Partway through Gen 3. Um, and I used it a lot. But it's, it's dropped off a bit now, but still has that nice nostalgia. And I still really like it. And I'm never upset to use the Pokemon. So, Kingdra, where do you go? Are you also in C or are you in B? I think you're going in B. I don't think I like it as much as Dragonair. Great War Bad Dragon. That's fair. I... I just have a soft spot for Kingdra, you know? Uh, I have used it a lot back in the day. It's very, very cool. I love... I like seahorses for a start. I always thought seahorses were really cool. Uh, I love the idea of a seahorse dragon. Bit of a weird one to make it a dragon, but fuck it. Uh, sure, why not? Um, and I just like it. It's very cool. I also like all its stats are 85. It's, it's, it's quite fun. Um, I, I like it. Also, it's the ace Pokemon of Claire, who's a really cool gym leader. Uh, I, I genuinely like her vibe of just being really, really angry at the world. It's very fun. So, yeah, I'd say Kingdra, a comfy, solid middle of the road. Like, low B, I'd say. Like, middle to low B. But I, I do like the Pokemon. Mega Sceptile. I quite like Mega Sceptile, honestly. I don't hate it, but... It loses a bit compared to some of the others, but I would give you a comfortable spot in D. D stands for dragon. You like it? I like Sceptile. That, one of the bits. Sceptile, I love it. It's a great Pokemon. Uh, I love that its ability is Lightning Rod. I love that it's the Rocket Launcher Tree. But again, I don't think I like it more than Mega Ampharos. I, I, I like it a good chunk less than Mega Ampharos. But I'd say it's a, it's a high D tier for me. D is still very good on this tier list, by the way. Good grass, bad dragon. Oh, it's one of the best grass types. Genuinely. Uh, I really like it as a grass type. But yeah, it's the dragon tier list we're going here. And dragons are great. What can I say? There are much better grass dragons as well. Is uh, is another thing we will come to later on this tier list. Grass dragon has become a, quite a common type combo. Um, because of one line, <laughs> in all honesty. Uh, but yeah, I quite like the Pokemon. I think it's very cool. Uh, I like Sceptile quite a bit anyway. So it's a very solid Pokemon, but not in not in the gr the upper tiers of dragons, but a solid, very cool Pokemon, and it's a Definitely a good chunk above average outright. Uh, for dragon types, I would put it in a solid average in the dragon types specifically, though. But my dragon type tier list, my dragons are very, very high ranked. Okay. Vibrava. Vibrava, you're also going in D tier. I really like you. You are very cool. The problem is, with Vibrava, I like both of its other forms way more. Vibrava is a massive... It's actually... I think it's a downgrade from its pre-evolution. Trap Inch. Trap Inch is awesome. Um, uh, I, love the I love the little bear trap. It reminds me of... Trap Inch reminds me of the mouses from TMNT. If anyone watched the cartoon. Uh, the really, really weird one that used to be on Jetix and Fox Kids version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Trap Inch, trap inch always reminded me of the mouses from that. I think it's really cute. Also, the thing has a high, has a 100 attack stat, which is the same as Gudra, and higher than, like, Polyrath, which I find hysterical. Uh, Vibrava loses out a lot of it, but it's not a bad Pokemon. I still quite like it, but it's definitely below Mega Sceptile for me. Uh, but I like it. I still like it. Still a great Pokemon. Still very cool. Flygon. Now, Flygon. Ooh, where do you go? I adore Flygon. I will say Yeah. Flygon is probably it genuinely might be my number one B tier. I really, really like Flygon. 
I flag on I think was my original dragon that I legit used. Shiny is also fantastic. Yes, I absolutely agree. Uh, I actually have a shiny Flygon in um, uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Also, shiny Trapinch is adorable. A little blue orb. Uh, I really, really like Flygon. Flygon was probably the first dragon type I properly used. Uh, because I played... Because uh, I got Fire Red and Emerald. Were my childhood Pokemon games. Um, and in Emerald... I got a trap inch very quickly and uh, it evolved into uh, Vibrava and Flygon. So it was my original dragon and I really like it and I have a very big soft spot for Flygon. It's a great typing. One of my favorite typings of the game, as you will find out later. <laughs> uh, Flygon has fallen off a bit for me, but I still really like the Pokemon. It's such a cool Pokemon. It's very fun. Uh, I like that you can build it so many different ways, and it's all good. It's got Levitate, which is a great ability. It's Ground type. I love Earth. It gets Earthquake, which I love Earthquake. It's cool. I love its design as well. Kind of think it should have been a Bug Dragon, personally, but which does detract a few points from it, I will say. But I still love Flygon, and I'm never upset to use it. Genuinely, it's a great one. You're never upset having a Flygon in your team. Let's put it that way. Also, Flygon... Real, you are one of the Pokemon that deserves a Mega in Legend ZA more than almost any other Pokemon. Flygon absolutely deserves a Mega Evolution. Because if... I actually was thinking earlier today, Flygon and another Pokemon, which I'll talk about later, deserve Megas more than any other. I, I will genuinely stand by that. And we'll get to that well, those ones, that other dragon, later. But yes, Flygon is one of the big two uh, dragon types for me that deserve Mega Evolutions. Uh, well, technically three, but I think this one, these two deserve it more than the other one, as much as I love it. Oh, yeah, you know exactly where Garchomp's going. <laughs> okay. Mega Altari, the only dragon fairy type in existence. I want to use this Pokemon real badly. I want to use the type. I really like dragon fairy. I like fairy types, honestly. Uh, I am actually happy that fairy types exist because... Um, they make, they, okay, so fairy type is designed to make dragon weaker, right? That's exactly what it's designed to do. But you know what it technically also does? It makes dragon type Pokemon stronger. Because it means that they can make more variety in dragon types. And as a person who loves lots and lots of Pokemon and wants more and more options... I love that there's more options. Fairy type opens up all sorts of other Pokemon's existence. So thank you, uh, Game Free, for adding dragon to uh, for adding fairy type to counter my dragons. So it means we get better dragons. Exactly. It also uh, makes dark weaker as well. Let's face it, fairy was put in to counter one Pokemon. We'll get to him later. He is on this list and he's getting a high mark because I love him and him and him. <laughs> so yeah. Mega Altaria, I will put you... I think I like you slightly less. You're, you're around here. You're, you're around Mega Ampharos. I will make it slightly less than Mega Ampharos. No, no, it wasn't designed to counter Rayquaza. There's one Pokemon it was very much, that Fairy was added to specifically counter. And you'll know why. Because it's quad weak to it. Rayquaza still dies to ice far harder than Fairy. If you try and use Fairy types and Rayquaza, it laughs. Um... But yeah, I like Mega Ampharos. It's really cool. I love the fa I love the fairy type. I love that it gets Moonblast. I love that it's a dragon type. It's the dragon that counts as dragon. Is literally what it's designed for, which is really cool, and I like it. I also have a soft spot for Altaria. Again, uh, I I like Gen three dragons. Gen, gen three is the is the gen where they started to realize that dragon types could be made into just more Pokemon than just pseudos. Uh, they, they were, they, no dragon types ha You can be reasonable and put dragon type out a lot Like dragon is a really really powerful type But it's not broken It's balanced Yeah it's the dragon killer I, I literally say um, Fairy and dragon type mixed together is The dragon that hunts dragon uh, We get ordinary Altaria Ordinary Altaria I love bigger Altaria Normal Altaria looks better uh, I would put normal Altaria Behind Dragonair, I think. I have a soft spot for this Pokemon. It's really cool. It's very cute. I remember it being in the anime and being kind of cool. 
Uh, I always love its design. I love the cloud design. I really hope it gets a regional variant at some point. Currently using it, Poke Rogue? Exactly. It's great. I love Altaria. It's also one of the easiest dragons to get in a lot of games. Like, you just want a dragon early? Boom. Altaria. Go. Nice and tanky. Get some good moves. Can't complain. Also in the Legends of Sinnoh board game, uh, Altaria technically is one of the legendary birds. Because the legendary birds have a move which gets more powerful the more Pokemon you have song moves on. And Altaria, one of its moves is Perish Song. <laughs> which does buff up all the other song moves, which is very funny. And completely unintentional, but it is the thing that you can do. Now then. Bag on. So, for those of you who don't know. Actually, no, we'll, we'll, not, we'll not say it yet. We'll, we'll get to this. So, Bagon. I love Bagon. Bagon is incredibly cute. Very, very cute little, little T-Rexy boy. I will put Bagon. Do I like it more than Dragonair? Yeah, actually I do. I'm going to put Bagon just behind Flygon. I really like this little T-Rex boy with his little hat on. I think it's very cool, Pokemon. It's very cute. I love its ability. I just have a huge soft spot for it. I really like it. You're a bitch to get bag on originally, but I, I just love you. You're you're a great little little fella. Uh, Shellgon is going above Bagon. I uh, is it going above Flygon? It might go above Flygon. No, I not well quite. I love Shellgon too. It always reminds me of those. Um, if anyone had as a kid. There was a type of ball you could buy, which you basically flattened and could turn into a frisbee, and then it would pop up again back into a ball. That's kind of what his gimmick was. And Shellgun always reminded me of that. I love its little angry eyes. I love its little feet. I love it. It's just a football. I love it. I also love its idea. It's like it literally doesn't eat um, until it evolves, basically. It's great. I really, really, really like Shellgun. It's cool. Now, we'll get to the Mega next. We'll get to the Mega last, actually, out of these ones. So, here's the thing. So, if anyone didn't know, Salamence used to be my favorite pseudo legendary. <laughs> it, and Salamence is currently my fourth favorite Pokemon in existence. I adore Salamence. Salamence is such a fucking awesome Pokemon. I absolutely love it. I love its design. I love its color scheme. I love its abilities. I love its attacks. I love its move pool. It's glorious. I always love using it. I want to use it more. It, it, it was literally before I used Garchomp. Before I fell in love with Garchomp. Um, Ruina my Salamence was was a ridiculously solid just chunk into on at most of my teams. I adore the Pokemon. I really like using it. it. I'm always happy to have it on the team. So yeah. Salamence, you're going right up to S tier. Not even close. I'm probably putting you behind Mega Charizard X because I do prefer Charizard. Charizard always used to be my favorite. Salamence didn't take Charizard off the favorite spot. Or didn't really compete with it. It was just behind it. So Salamence, very, very respectable position still. Absolutely love it. Ruina, my girl, you've saved me in so many games as well. She is a Ruina is my Salamance. She did. She does work. She did it, put in some serious power in the Pokemon Draft League that I used to be in. It was one of my last picks. It was a nice sneak pick in there. And uh, my God, did she throw people off? People did not expect the Salamance on the team to do work, and she did a lot of work. She literally won me one of the hardest games. Uh, which was against my uh, the opponent that had an Urshifu. She was my ace in the hole. She was my uh, my ace in the hole was my Garchomp. She was my wild card. And she, she'd be like having a Joker, or like the Queen. She'd be like the, she'd be like the Queen the Queen card in a in a in a full house. Like not 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 the big not the big card, but one of the face cards. Like one of the really big keys for the team. Because honestly, the three Pokemon that that did most of the hard work. On my team, well, there were four in my draft league. 
Uh, it was my Garchomp, Gooba. It was Darude, my Tyranitar. It was Ruina, my Salamance. And it was Easy Bake, my Heatran. Those four did the vast majority of work for my in the draft league games that we were playing. Uh, so yeah, my Lycan Rock also did my Dust Storm Lycan Rock also did a lot of work and deserves an honorable mention. Uh, basically, I used essentially six Pokemon out of my huge whole team. I used six and alternated those six. But yeah, I fucking love Salamence. Great, great Pokemon. Mega Salamence, I really like Mega Salamence, not gonna lie. I've never had a chance to use it. I really do like its design. I think it's slightly worse a design than Salamence, but I don't hate it like a lot of people do. Does? I am gonna put you a solid A tier. Like, really, 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 ah! Tier. Because I like Salamence, uh, Mega Salamence. I love Aerialite. I think it's a really cool ability. I want there to be more abilities like it in Pokemon. Uh, I've heard it's insanely good. Mega Salamence as well. So I'm I'm happy to put it in A tier. I slightly prefer it less than the, the normal Salamence, but I still really, really like it and would not be upset to have it or use it. Now then. Uh, this one I'll do the Mega first. Mega Latias, again, you're going you're gonna to get top of B tier. I prefer you to, to Flygon. I really like Mega Latias. I've never used it. But I like its design, and I really, really like Latias. Okay. Uh, I can't really say much else to it. It's just a buffed up Latias. Really. Uh, but, Latias herself, you are probably going to be the number one in A tier. I don't... I'm I'm having a hard time thinking of any Pokemon overall that might be higher in A tier. There's a couple that might be competing with it, but I adore Latias. She's such a sweetheart. She's very cute. I do like Latios, but less than Latias. That's that's always been my thoughts on it. Uh, I want I like Red more. Two, she's adorable. Latios is cool, but I like Latias. I also like using Latias more than Latios. I prefer her Mist Ball to Lost the Purge. Uh, I love that she's a little bit tankier. She still hits hard enough, um, and I love I genuinely love using the Pokemon. So, Lat normal Latias, top of A tier, very very good Pokemon. I absolutely adore her. Uh, Mega Latios, you're probably going behind Flygon. I still do like the Pokemon. Do not get me wrong. It's still very, very cool. But I, I like the Latias, like the pose and how it slightly looks different a bit more as well. And I like Flygon a lot. So I really do like it. I like Latios. I had Latios first because I had uh, Emerald and I picked blue because I didn't know. It was actually pick red or blue. And I was told, oh, you want to pick blue. It's like, do I? Why? It's like, no, you want to pick blue. It's like, okay. And I picked blue and I got Latios. And I was like, oh, oh cool. And then I saw what Latias looked like. And I was like, oh, I wish I picked the other one. God, that'd be terrifying. Latios plus Alakazam in the in Poker Rogue would be a devastating combo. Again, I've also used Latias before um, in Showdown. The reason why I haven't used Latias much in Showdown is because she's banned in Yu Yu, because she's a better Pokemon than Latias. Uh, genuinely, she's better user competitively. Uh, Latias main, uh, I do like his design. He might go. I think he's going in A tier, but he's going behind Mega Salamence. Uh, I do really like him. I like the sleek design. I like it was a bit more serious. Also, by the way, Latias in the anime was awesome, which she was hysterical. Latios, also really, really cool. Oh, yeah, it's it's devastating Pokemon. It's combo. And now then. Now then. Uh, I'm going to be honest, guys. You're about to see S tier go from having two members to having um, a lot of members. So, let's put the elephant in the room. With the strongest Pokemon of all time. And the best shiny of all time. And my favorite Mega Evolution of all time. And one of my, again, my top three favorite Pokemon of all time. Mega Rayquaza, you're going to the top, buddy. Rayquaza is my favorite Pokemon. It is one of my big three. These three compete with each other for the top spot daily. No, Arceus is weaker than Mega Rayquaza. It has less stats and dies to it. 
Mega Rayquaza is the highest stats in Pokemon that's usable by a player. The only Pokemon with a higher base stat toll in the code is Eternamax Eternatus, which is not usable by a player. That's the only one. I mean, you say that in the anime. In one of the movies, Mega Rayquaza bodied Giratina, Dialga, Palkia, uh, Reggie Gigas, and like five other legendary divine beast level Pokemon on his own at the same time. In literally one of the movies, in the in one of the Hooper movies, Mega Rayquaza literally bodies five or six gods at the same time, and he's playing with them. He is so ungodly powerful. He is literally, he's not a god. He's just really, really good at fighting. <laughs> also, Mega Rayquaza, literally his law, he's the only Mega, Mega Evolution that just does it himself because he ate the object that, um, that causes it. Mega Rayquaza is so fucking cool. Oh, and yeah, um, pretty much the same thing for Rayquaza. He, he I adore him. <sighs> these, 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 these three can't, they can't be separated. Ray Rayquaza is my legendary Pokemon. Of choice, if you see me using a legendary and I only get one legendary, it's Rayquaza. Guaranteed. I fucking love the Pokemon. It's it's my it's my legendary. It generally has always been my legendary. I fucking love it. It's a big fan favorite as well. I love it shiny so much. I'm happy to use it, and I really hope the Mega Rayquaza is available in Pokemon ZA, and I get to use it. Genuinely, I've wanted to use him so badly for so long. I love the move as well. I love Dragon Ascent. I love it. Again, amazing Pokemon. Broken as shit, but I, I love it. Anyone who's seen me in Ubers as well also knows um, I adore using Rayquaza in Ubers. And he's my mainstay. He's my mainstay legendary. Now then. Yeah, let's put rest in. Okay. Gibble! The best baby dragon in existence. You're going in S tier, Gibble. Little baby Gooba. I love it. I love it. My original, my original Gibble uh, jumped out at me, like instantly walked into the biome, uh, got immediately jumped uh, by a female Gibble, and it was Gooba, and she has, she has been my partner in crime in Pokemon ever since. Uh, now, the only reason Gibble is there on the list is because Gabite is next to it. Actually, I think I'll put Gabite a bit further behind. I really like Gabite as well. I like the design of Gibble more. Gibble is such a little gremlin. But I fucking love Gabite. I've actually used Gabite quite a lot in a lot of my Pokemon playthroughs. Genuinely, because I want the final evolution. But also, Gabite's just decent. Gabite's got a decent stat line for, like, the mid-game Pokemon. It does work. Gabite does some serious work. So, I love it. Mega Garchomp. Now, nah, Mega Garchomp, competitively, really bad. Legitimate. Um, I know how to fix it as well. But you are going, I love the design of Mega Garchomp. So Mega Garchomp is going there, just behind Salamence. Uh, above Gibble, though. I love Mega Garchomp's design. I love its raw power if it does get to attack. Problem is, it loses a lot of speed, which loses a lot of points for me. Uh, because it's bad at doing what Garchomp wants to do because it loses it loses slightly too much speed for me. Also, literally, uh, if they change Garchomp's ability from Sand Force to Sand Rush, uh, genuinely that fixes the Pokemon. It probably goes up a few t up a few stages. I love Mega Garchomp a lot, but we can't put my Ace anywhere but the top spot. Like Rayquaza again. Rayquaza is my favorite Pokemon. But so is Garchomp and so is Charizard. So, yeah. Gooba, you're going in the top spot, girl. That is my ace Pokemon. She has been since I first got a Garchomp. Genuinely. My first ever Garchomp, I realized how powerful this Pokemon was. And how good it is. And how good it just is to use. And I love Cynthia as well. Cynthia is by far my favorite champion. She's absolutely an ace beyond aces. 
She's so cool. She's got style. Girl's got style. And she's got good, great taste in Pokemon. Every single Pokemon on her team is a fantastic ch uh, choice. And Garchomp is the cream of the crop. Top, top spot. Her ace Pokemon. Her starter as well. Which gives literally the, uh, the evidence that I can do in any Pokemon thing of, I need a starter Pokemon. Well, what's real starter? Well, it's Gibble. No, you can't have Gibble. It's not a starter. Yes, it is. It's canonically a starter for Cynthia was her starter Pokemon. I just love Garchomp. Uh, it was my first pick in the draft as well, in the draft league. Uh, I first picked Garchomp and Garchomp won me most of my games. When it comes down to the wire and I was like no way out, backed into a corner, I knew I could rely on Gooba to maybe be able to just power, power me out. And my god did she in so many situations. She won me so many matches. And even in the matches, that a lot, uh, like in the one or two rounds I actually did lose, because I didn't lose that many matches. Just yet you and Petrol. Yeah. Yeah, Pikachu is a start. Well, Pikachu is a starter in actually a couple of games as well, because yellow and let's go Pikachu. Same as Eevee. Eevee is also a starter because of partner Eevee. I always go, if it's literally canon in anything... It's allowed as a star. If anyone uses it as their first Pokemon, it's their star. Right? That's just how it works. It is a very legit starter Pokemon. And Garchomp is the strongest starter Pokemon of all time. Because <laughs> uh, the only one that I can think of anybody actually being having a stronger final form is someone who actually would start with a legendary. Which I guess maybe Lily? Does Lily start? Because it's like Nebby, right? Is Nebby, is Nebby Lily starter? Maybe? Because uh, I know that's Solgaleo or Lunala, eventually, so... Well, we'll, 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 I'm not sure. But yeah, Garchomp's my ace Pokemon. I love her so much. I She is my most used competitive Pokemon by far. It's not even close. It's my ace. Also, yes, yeah, just like you and me, draw, buddy. <laughs> now, I've ranted. Yeah, remember what I said? Uh, S tier is going to go from having, like, two Pokemon in it to a lot... Yeah, all the Rayquazas in the entire Gar Garchomp line went right into S tier. I love all of them. So. Dialga. Dialga now. I really fucking like Dialga. I don't know if I... I don't think Dialga's S tier for me. Not quite. But, I'd say... <sighs> yeah. Dialga is going just behind Latias. I fucking love Dialga. Big, like, uh, the Iron Dragon. I really like it. I know it's not great. I love it. Like, competitively, it's it's okay. I love its design. I actually really like its moveset. I know people go, oh, but it's got a terrible moveset for what it wants to do. It's still good, right? It's still fun to use. It's a giant fucking steel dragon type. What's wrong with it? It's really cool. I love that it's the Lord of Time. I love its ability to roar of time. It was fucking cool on the Smash Brothers map, if anyone remembers that. Where you can have... Uh, Right, uh, Dialga can spawn on the map and, like, slow down time on the map so everyone's moving really slowly. Was fucking awesome. It's great. Yeah, it's got one of the strongest moves canonically. It's got one of the strongest moves in the game as well. It's got, uh, Roar of Time is, um, Hyper Beam, but Dragon, which is also really cool. Uh, for a good while, it was the strongest Dragon-type attack. Uh, I really like it. I really fucking love, uh, Dialga. Dialga is awesome. Palkia... I do like Palkia, don't get me wrong. But Palkia, for me, has always been a step below Dialga. It's cool. I don't really know why it's water type. You're going at the top of base tier. I would say. I, I do... Yeah, it's technically not a one-hit KO, but it's only usable by a 150 base, base special attack legendary Pokemon. And it's a 150 power dragon move with stab. It's going to kill nearly anything. <laughs> Then it's up against, right? It's just obliterated by the right time. Yeah, yeah, Palkia, I like Palkia. It's a cool Pokemon, but it's significantly below Dialga for me. I like it, but it, it, loses, uh, it loses that to his brother. I, I think Dialga is a much cooler design and a much cooler Pokemon. I know, I think Palkia is better out of the two to use. Technically, I think oh, Spatial Run is a way better move than Royal Time because Royal Time's got the cooldown. But I, I do like it. It's still neat. Oh, did I actually say it's one? I guess nothing could survive it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not actually a 1-hit KO. It was just a really, really powerful move. But... Now. We have gotten to Giratina. Giratina is, once again, one of my favourite legendary Pokemon. And first up, we've got Origin. So it's got the two forms. It's got the Origin Giratina and Regular Giratina. Regu I'll, I'll talk about them at the same time. Regular Giratina is the first one I used. The big walking tank of a Pokemon. I do really, really like it. Giratina, ordinary form. Instead of the first one, you're going above the Alga. Now here's a bit. We'll get to the we'll get to the S tier part. I love Giratina. It's my it's a big concrete wall that I like to use. I've used it in. Uh, I actually used it against a friend. Was the first time using it on their um, Pokemon Colosseum, I think it was. And Giratina did some fucking work. When that it's a giant brick wall of Pokemon. I really like it. I really like using it. But it loses that significantly to Origin Giratina because Origin Giratina is just fucking cool. You're going just behind the Garchomp line, which is very respectable, Giratina. Giratina is one of the Poke is my lead Pokemon in Ubers as well. I will open with Giratina. Uh, a special running Giratina with Dracometeor, Willow Wisp, Hex, and I don't remember what I also run. Rocks? Defog? Uh, Defog. I ran Defog on it. I genuinely love... Look, uh, Origin Giratina is so fucking cool. Look at, look at it. Look at that thing. It's so fucking cool looking. I love the floating dragon. It gets Levitate, which is such a good ability, and I love Levitate. Ah. Uh. Mm. Also, outside of Rayquaza, probably like the third... I'd say the third best legendary shiny for me. Hmm. Yeah, I, I would, with offhand, can't think of any others currently besides two that beat it. I love the blue and white. Oh, Giratina looks great. I love Giratina. Giratina's a fantastic Pokemon. So yeah, Origin Giratina, S tier, like bottom of S tier, but still S tier. Uh, regular Giratina, just behind Latias, but a very respectable placing. Now, we got the Hacks line. Love the Haxorus line. I genuinely do. Uh, Axew, Axew, you, you're gonna get C tier. Uh, do you... Yes. I don't like you quite as much as those two megas, I don't think. But still, very, very cute. I love its little tusks. It's very cute. Also, to me, it looks like one of those flip knives that you can get, like the claw knives. Like the cat, the claw camping knives. All the, all the, uh, swap. The, not the SWAT team, the other military knives, I guess. Or the sp kind of splinter cell knife as well, actually. It's a very, very cool one. I think it's a great Pokemon. I love it. Crambit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fracture. Again, yeah. You're going, you're going next to your little brother. I genuinely like Fracture as well. I like the kind of dinosaur-y look it's got. For some reason, it always reminded me of a Pachycephalosaurus. Like, it's not... It doesn't look at anything like one, pretty much. But I always saw it like that. Like, obviously, Rampados is the actual Pachycephalosaurus Pokemon. Oh, crap. A caramba. Okay. I think I've heard that word before. I think, oh, yeah, right. It's not coming to mind at the moment. But I've definitely heard the word before. But, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. I like Fracture. Fracture. Very, very cool Pokemon. Now we get to Haxorus. Haxorus, you're going behind Flygon. Haxorus is the other Pokemon that I think really deserves a Mega. Okay? It's borderline a pseudo-legendary. Right? Haxorus is a really, really cool Pokemon. Gorgeous shiny as well. The pitch black with the red axe blade looks great. The problem is that he loses out on a few things. I'm never the biggest fan of running a Pokemon that's one type, one type only. Unless it's built purely for defense. And let's face it, Haxorus ain't a defensive Pokemon. Haxorus is an axe. <laughs> but I do really, really like it. It's a really, really cool Pokemon. It just loses out to a couple of its brothers. Also, it's coming after Garchomp. It's it's, it's not as cool as Garchomp. I really, really like it, though, and I'm always, like, once again, happy to use it, but on my dragon teams that I, on a, if I'm going to do a team of all dragons, unfortunately, Haxorus is one of the early cuts. 
as great as it is, as great as it is, um, Haxrus, you're, you're a fucking amazing dude, I absolutely love you, you kind of lose out to a few of the others in the dragons, but you get a very respectable B tier, and B tier in this is really above par for most of the Pokemon, okay, okay, Drodagon, I think Drodagon is cool, okay? Everyone hates on Drodagon. Everyone hates on Drodagon. Ah, because it's kind of got like a goofy design. It's got like the two big arms. It's the weird cartoony color scheme. People call it the Play-Doh dragon I've heard before. Or a Lego dragon. I think that is a real piece of shit thing to do. Because I genuinely like Drodagon. It's not amazing. But it's tanky as balls. It's got sheer force, which you can make sheer force life upset. It's not particularly good at it, but it can do it. So it can give it rough skin. I think it can get tough claws as well. It's a, it's a really fun Pokemon to use. I highly recommend. Genuinely give it a shot. It stands for Dragon. For me, I actually like it almost as much as Mega Altaria. You're going in here, buddy. I like Drodagon more than a lot of people. It's going, it's going above Fracture, but below Mega Altaria. I genuinely like that Pokemon, and people don't give it the credit it deserves. It's pretty cool. Um, it does lose out to a lot of dragons. Fully admit, it's not a great Pokemon. But it's a very fun Pokemon to use if you give it an actual shot, and people really shit on it for no reason. It's not as bad as people think it is. Just because it's one of the weakest dragons... Doesn't mean it's weak. I have seen that thing rip Pokemon in half. They are... It is very tanky. Also, it actually does a thing which Haxorus fails to do. It's also just worse than Haxorus in every way, except this one. It's a mono dragon type. That actually is defensive. It is a tank. That's what you've got to use it as. You literally have to just accept it's tanky and it hits hard. It literally is a counter Pokemon. Like, you, they, something smashes into it, fails to kill it, because Mono Dragon type, that's actually quite hard to bring down. People would be, people are very surprised if you get a high health, high durability Pokemon with one type. That's quite hard to kill, because there's no quad weaknesses. Um, and it hits back really, really hard. It's got a very respectable attack stat. I like Dredagon. It deserves more respect than it gets. Uh, because it's tanky enough to usually soak the super effective hit that's coming at it from nearly anything. Uh, so yeah, I like Drenagon. I hope it gets uh, some love at some point. Ah yes, now we're getting to uh, uh, we get hit. we've got Ringo Star, Paul and Ringo, and the entire and a good half of the Beatles. Uh, I am putting Dino. Dino, you're getting a solid B tier. I, yeah, put it behind Palkia. I love Dino. Dino is very cool. I love its design. I love the little, the little tiny like hair that it's got over it. The little spike, the little sauropody kind of red lizardy look. I really like Dino. Dino is very very cool. Uh, I also love its color scheme. Then we get um, the emo dragon. Yeah, well, I always think of it as Ringo Star. That's always what I think of as this one. Uh, from the Beatles. Uh, Zwilus. Just behind Dino. I think Dino's a cuter design. But I do like Zwilus. I love the, love the Hydra look. Uh, yeah. I genuinely, genuinely like it. It's very cool. The way they lose out a lot of points is I fucking hate using him in battle. Uh, they have Hustle as their ability, which is powerful on the attack. I don't like using them. They're not that great. They they tend to sit in the back gaining levels until their final evolution. Now, High Dragon. High Dragon. The reason they added Fairy type to Pokemon was because of this fucker. High Dragon was the one of the strongest Pokemon ever made for competitive Pokemon because competitive basically doesn't have legendaries in it, right? Hydragon's the special attacking pseudo legendary. It's the original special attacker pseudo legendary. And anyone who doesn't know this, um, the best dragon move in Pokemon is Dracometeor, which is a special move. 
This thing has 125 special attack, levitate, and, and had what no real weaknesses back in the day. Uh, because it was fast enough to be a problem. The only answer you had to this thing was another dragon that outsped it. Basically, if you didn't have Garchomp, you were fucked. <laughs> Garchomp, maybe Salamance, you were probably boned. Because it outsped Dragonite. And it competed well. And it, and it smashed through Metagross because of its... Um, because of Dark type. So you could actually smash into a Metagross quite easily with like a big Dark Pulse or something. Uh, and also, you could freely drop Draco Meteors. Doesn't matter what you throw against it. You just Draco Meteor it. And it dies. Uh, I fucking love High Dragon. It's the King Ghidorah Pokemon as well, which is great. Do I... Uh, okay. High Dragon is the Pokemon I was thinking that can compete with Latias for me. It's not quite S tier, but it's very close. Hi, Dragon. You are getting... I prefer it to Giratina in a normal form. I don't prefer it to Giratina in Origin, though. Yeah. You are getting just behind Latias. I love High Dragon a lot. High Dragon is an awesome Pokemon. I really, really like it. It is one of my go-to special attacking Pokemon as well. Like, if I go with one a special attacker on my team, High Dragon's one of the ones I very seriously consider. It's not always on there. But it's it's one it's one of like the last cut Pokemon from my team if I'm making one. Uh I really, really love it. So yeah. Fucking awesome Pokemon. I really, really like it. And it's crazy powerful. It fell it's fallen off over the years, but I still love it and I still love using it. It's a fun time. Uh, also, one of the most pain in the ass Pokemon to use in Pokemon MMO because it uh, evolves outside the level cap of any region. So you never get to use it during an actual playthrough, which is a real pain in the ass. I believe that was one of the highest evolution... It might have this still the highest EVO level in Pokemon. It's got level 64 for the thing to evolve. I think it's tied with Dragapult for the highest. Uh, but yeah, it is a really yeah. powerful, really, really good Pokemon and really, really fun to use. Oh, sorry, my Discord's pinging. Who the fuck messaged me? Uh, it wasn't for me, it was someone else. One moment. Okay. Cool. Okay. Hi, Dragon. Okay. Rashiram, my legendary fire dragon, the first ever fire dragon type Pokemon. The White Dragon Reshiram. Uh, of the Tau Trio, which is Reshiram, Zekrom, Kyurem. Uh, Reshiram's my favourite. I really, really like Reshiram. I love her design. Um, I've got... I really love using Poker Rogue as well. Uh, I, one of my first... Le I think my second legendary I ever got was Reshiram. Uh, she was an early one. I don't know if she was actually my first one, but... Uh, she's really, really cool. I prefer Pokemon White to Pokemon Black because of it. Because I think Reshiram is cooler than Zekrom. I really like Zekrom too, don't get me wrong. But I really, really like Reshiram. Reshiram. Do I prefer you to deep? Ghost Lord. Eh, uh, technically not legendary, but yeah, I get you. It's legendary enough, right? Yeah, my, I, my first was Kyurem. Ordinary Kyurem. It was my first legendary in Rogue. Uh, I, I still don't have Ghost Lord, by the way. I'm kind of jealous of that. Yeah. Yeah, Reshiram. I think... I think Reshiram might go, might beat normal Giratina for me. I really like Reshiram. I'm not going to lie. The fact that it's... I think the type is what beats normal Giratina for it. Because I love fire type. And they're very, very close in my mind. Uh, competitive. I, I, I really like both of them. So, very, very, very close together. Oh, I also have a Kyogre, yeah. Kyogre's great. But yeah, I, I love Reshiram. Probably, yeah, less than these two. Slightly more than Giratina, but it's there's not much in it. If I, I could literally put them this way around and would be just as happy. But I think, if I'm being honest, she slightly beats out Giratina. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Zekrom, I do like Zekrom. Uh, the first one of the pair I actually used was Zekrom because Zekrom's the one you get in Pokemon Mo. 
And Zekrom does some fucking work, let me tell you. Uh, Zekrom is an absolute powerhouse. I love it. I really love using Fusion Bolt. It's a cool ability. It's a cool move. Um, I love that it's a beat stick of a dragon as well. It just punches things. It's really, really cool. And a very, very fun time to use. So, uh, Zekrom, you're going above Latios. I do really like the Pokemon. I don't think I like it as much as Giratina or Dialga, though. Or Mega Salamence. But it's still a fucking cool Pokemon. Its head kind of is a bit fruit-looking like fruit looking for me. Like, it looks kind of like a uh, uh, watermelon a little bit. But it's still a very, very cool Pokemon and cool design. I love the arms on it. I think, that, I think like, the head on Zekrom really loses it a lot of points. It's not terrible, but I think it loses out a lot. It is a bit goofy looking. Okay, Curum White. Now, here's the bit. Curum White versus Curum Black. Curum White, I think, looks worse than Curum Black, but I prefer using Curum White to using Curum Black. So I think I'll put both of them. I prefer them both to Zekrom. Don't prefer them to Mega Salamence. Yes. Okay, so Curum White and Black. I have not used these two very much, but they are both very fun. I'm going to put them in this order because I slightly prefer using Curum White because it's a special attack. Uh, Curum's moveset goes better with special in my mind because Freeze Dry exists. Uh, no, actually, I'll put them the other way around. I love the design of Curum Black, though. Curum Black has a really cool design with, like, the big, chunky arms on it. Unfortunately, until they make a uh, Freeze Dry... Which is physical. Uh, yeah, Kieran Black, you're yeah, not as fun to use. Very, very fun to use, still. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I use Kieran Black in Poker Rogue because I actually got the, the Dark Orb first. Uh, Kieran, normal Kieran, you're probably going above Latios, but behind Zekrom. I like the Pokemon. I think it's very, very fun. Uh, my first legendary that I got in um, Poker Rogue as well. Really, really, really cool Pokemon. Uh, no pun intended. I prefer it less to its alternate forms, though. But it's still really awesome. I still really like Kyurem. And if anyone told me that Kyurem was their favourite Pokemon, I'd go, I get it. It's just not as much for me as a lot of these others. There's a lot of really good Pokemon in Dragon-type. Again, once again, really, 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 ah, is a fantastic tier to be in. On my, uh, on my Dragon list. Okay. Dragalgi. I genuinely love Dragalgi. Dragalgi, to me, is a um, is the seahorse dragon done correctly? Like, I know it's supposed to be kelp, but it's also definitely got some seahorse vibes to it. I prefer it to Kingdra, genuinely. I genuinely love using this thing. This is like a low-tier monster in Pokemon. Uh, also got apocalyptically high special defense. It's also, it's one of the dragons that I find is very important. Because it's a dragon that counters fairy. Which is a very, very important thing to, to realize. So, anyone who's going to do a mono dragon team in a run, in any of like, the later games of Pokemon, definitely put some consideration on getting a Dragalgi. You will do some work. Also, beautiful shiny. If you haven't seen Dragalgi shiny, go and look it up. I've also realized Skrelp isn't on here. Oh no, Skrelp isn't actually a dragon, is it? Skrelp is water. Yeah, Skrelp's water poison. Dragalgi goes to dragon poison. Uh, but yeah, I generally love Dragalgi. I think Dragalgi is just below Dragonair, I think, honestly. Like, I think it beats out Altaria. Really, really fun Pokemon to use, though. Also, Poison types, which eats Toxic Spikes, which is always important. So, yeah. Genuinely love that Pokemon. Very, very cool design. Very, very cool usability. It's a lot of fun. And a gorgeous shiny. Now then, Tyrant. One of my favorite baby dragons, uh, Tyrant's going in a comfy, just behind Hydreigon. Yeah, just above Reshiram. Yeah, I love Tyrant. Tyrant is really cute little chomper. I love my baby T-Rex. Ah, uh, it's great. I fucking love Tyrant. Tyrant has done some work as well. It's surprisingly powerful for a baby Pokemon. Genuinely, it's it's got some work that it can do. Uh, I know it's not one of the strongest Pokemon ever. But I really like it. I also have a soft spot for rock types because I've realized that as soon as you get past the actual rocks, rock types got some cool Pokemon in it. 
Uh, Rocktite's got Tyrantrum, Tyrant, uh, it's got Tyranitita. Um, what other ones? There's Garganic, uh, Garganical, I suppose, is a giant rock. But yeah, rock types got some very, very cool Pokemon in it. If you just give them the time of day. Uh, people immediately look down on rock types because they're not amazing. They've got some use. If you don't underestimate them. Rock type does work. But yeah, Tyra. Now we get to Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum! In my top segment of favorite Pokemon. Tyrantrum, you're going just buying Salamence. You're going above Mega Garchomp. I fucking love Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum, if I am told, okay, you have to pick your favorite dragon. It can't be anything special. It can't be like a pseudo legendary. It can't be a legendary. Uh, it can't be a mega. Anything like that. Tyrantrum's, pro is, Tyrantrum's probably there. I fucking love it. It's my favorite fossil type, fossil Pokemon by far. I love its design. I love its color scheme. I love how it works as well. It's really fun to use Tarantrum, guys. Uh, give it Rockhead Tarantrum. Just make its head smash in. Or just give it Strong Jaw. It's other ability. It's like its default ability, Strong Jaw. Um, get some crunches in there. Get some Poison Fang. Because it gets Poison Fang. Like with boost. Oh, it's great. I really, really love Tarantrum. Tarantrum is an awesome, awesome Pokemon. And it's a fucking T-Rex. How can I not love it? T-Rex is my favorite animal of all time. I I adore it. Great Pokemon. Gumi! I mean, Gumi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dratini. You have finally been dethroned from the front spot. Not let me move it properly. But yeah. I love Gumi. Look at it. Look at it. It's not a thought in the little blob. It's very cute. I love Gumi. It's apparently the weakest dragon of all time. <laughs> yeah. Little, little Gooba thing. It's so cute. Uh, to be perfectly honest, Sligu is uh, probably going also in this tier. Uh, I think he'd prefer a dragon there to it. Though. Uh, a, a Dratini. Normal Sligu is great. Gudra, Gudra is literally the pinnacle. C for me. Probably. I don't think anything is going to take Gudra off of the... Come on, how can you not love this Pokemon? I love Gudra. People really shit on Gudra. It's still a great Pokemon. I still love it. Gudra is almost certainly going to stay the top spot in C. Um, I'm, I can't think of any other Pokemon that actually beats it at that spot. Genuinely. I, I love it. Gudra gets a lot of shit. I genuinely like it. Yes, it's probably... Yes, it's the worst... I won't say it's probably the worst pseudo. Unfortunately, Gugdra is just the worst pseudo. In terms of, like, how good is it? But it's still decent. People go, oh, it's a shit Pokemon. It's not. It's still a pseudo. It's still a pseudo-legendary dragon. Do not underestimate pseudo-legendary dragons just because this one isn't as strong as the others. It's still very good. It can tank hits. It can dish out some damage if you actually spec it right. Usually, I usually run it um, specs. Uh, in my in my personal opinion, you run you run good with uh, choice specs. Like you get hit with a Draco meteor from this thing, it's gonna hurt. Like it's gonna you're gonna you're gonna take some damage. So yeah, Gudra top of the C tier probably never get changing. Gudra is literally what I thought when I literally named the tier. Come on, how can you not love this? It's a very cute, also amazing Pokemon in Pokemon Unite. Genuinely, it's my tank Pokemon of choice. Uh, I'm not a tank player in Unite, particularly. I'm a all-rounder. But um, I do, do love Gudra a lot. Noibat! It's cute. It's got cute going for it. I'm going to put Noibat in D. It stands for dragon. Uh, it's a good Pokemon. It's a cute little bat. It's fun. It's really bad. But I don't mind it. It's, it's kind of cool. Uh, Noi Vern, you're probably at the top of the same tier. I'm gonna be honest. You're cool. I know you're a friend of mine's favorite. One of my a friend of mine's favorite Pokemon. I uh, believe you're my buddy uh, Luke's favorite dragon. Uh, yeah, it's a great Pokemon. Do not get me wrong. Noi Vern is really, really cool. I just don't think it's worthy of the tier above. Really, I it's I prefer it to Mega Scepter. I would give it more than Mega Scepter. But I don't really think it is. It's still a great tier. Like, D tier is still really good. I need to preface this again. 
D is still way above average in Pokemon. For me. Uh, it's still a dragon. But it's one of the ones that I'm not as huge a fan of for the dragons. But I do very much like it. And I have used it. And people have seen me use it. I do like this Pokemon. Now we get to some weird ones. Um, little Zygarde. This isn't Tiny Zygarde. This is the, the dog form, which is 10%. cool but i'm kind of indifferent to the dog form honestly steve stands for dragon he's still good it's still good it's still it's like a dog i like i like dogs but i think with zygarde we should go up in percentages the baby baby one percent isn't on here it would probably be even higher easy i i love the little leaf things they're very cute zygarde 50 percent Put Zygarde 50%. I do like it. I like its design, to be honest. I put you above Kingdra in based tier. It's still a really cool Pokemon. And a great design. But. Which one? It's Dragapult, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I do like Zygarde 50%. I think Zygarde 50% is really cool. I have one in Poker Rogue. It was actually... Uh... Not the next one, the one after. Oh, Trampa. Okay. Oh, Turner. Tur yeah, Turner can do some work. Oh, come on. Okay, we'll get, we'll get to them later. But yeah. Uh, I, I really like uh, Zygarde 50%. It's a very cool design. However, Zygarde 100% is fucking awesome. I love this thing. Ooh, are you going... I think... It, I think it beats out Giratina. I think it beats out Tyrod. Yeah. I think it's competing with High Dragon. I, think I would say it's quite as, as much a fan as, as her dragon. But... Zygarde... Is a really fucking cool Pokemon. It's got chumps typing for a start, which I love. It's an absolute concrete wall. Like my God, Zygon 100% is terrifying to fight against because the fucker doesn't die. This bastard in my um, Poker Rogue run that I won, it literally came down to Zygarde complete form versus Mega Rayquaza. Uh, the, by opponents literally Mega Rayquaza. But the opponents Mega Rayquaza outraged. Crit. Did over a thousand damage to my Zygarde. And my Zygarde just took the hit head on and was fine. Like it fucking hurt. Zygarde is one of the few Pokemon I know that was banned for being too tanky. Love the thing. Really cool Pokemon. Great design. I love the big superhero build that it's got. It's really cool. Fucking love the Pokemon. Absolute all-star. Wish I could use it in that form all the time. The other form's a lot, a lot worse, but... Really, really cool Pokemon. A Turtonator. Turtonator! Okay. Turtonator itself, mostly an inoffensive Pokemon. I'm allowing this one for it's a bullying. Yeah, it was. It, I know what you mean. Pokemon can be uh, dead as we dead. Yeah, he's he's got an assy typing. So Turnator is a fire dragon type, which, as I said, is my favorite typing. Problem: it's the only completely ordinary Pokemon that's a fire dragon type. Make fucking more than this bastard. Like it's not bad. But make more of it. I don't like it because it's the only normal example we've got of the type. And while its shell looks really cool, its head is stupid. You are going on the... Hey, at least it's a dragon tier. Uh, Probably behind Dragonite. I haven't forgiven Turnate yet. For being it. It's still a dragon. It's still cool. Don't get me wrong. 
You have to remember, E is like meh for me in Pokemon. For a dragon. Which is awful for a dragon. Still really good. Yeah, still really good for a Pokemon. Yeah, I don't mind it. If you want a way to beat this bastard in uh, Poker Rogue, by the way, or just Pokemon in general, you want to get past Turtonator, Rock, Ground, Dragon. It resists the normal dragon weaknesses because fi it's fire type. Fire type resists fairy and ice. So you have to think of it as a fire type. More than a dragon. The only thing that's dragon about it in its weaknesses is dragon. And for fire type, it resists water because it's a dragon. Also, never hit it with a gra grass move. It will not care. <laughs> quad resist dragon. Uh, quad resist uh, grass and fire. It's very good against starters. But yeah. Third air, it's fine, but I'm not a huge fan. Drampa. I don't have the strongest feelings about Drampa. Drampa's kind of cool. I like his Berserk ability. But you remember the bottom of C tier? I do like it. I like that it's um, Falcor from Neverending Story. It's a really decent Pokemon. Like, I I like it, but it's it's just kind of there, right? It's not it's nothing crazy. It's not in it's not offensive in any way. It's extremely inoffensive. I I think I prefer it a bit to Noivern though. I, I kind of want to use Drampa at some point. It's kind of cool. Fuck knows how to run it. The only way that my brain tells me you can run it is uh, running it like Galarian Moltres, but it's just worse than Galarian Moltres at that job. So. So, yeah. It's it's neat. I like the vibe that it went for it. Also, I'm happy it is a normal dragon type. There's not many normal dragons. I think there's two. Uh, which is kind of cool, you know. So, I kind of dig it. I'm not a huge fan, but I don't dislike it either. I think I think it's kind of cool. I would like to use it at some point. Uh, maybe when I use it, it's, uh, it will go for my opinion. That's my thought as well. I, I want to use the Pokemon. I think it's cool. I want to use it. I want to get more of an opinion on it for that. Now, I can never remember half these fuckers' names. That one, this one here, is Komoo. I'm ninety percent sure, but yeah, the baby version of the of the Alolan uh, the Alolan Sulu, the baby version is kind of cute. Not gonna lie, I think I'll put you here in C tier. It's very cute. I like the little lizard idea. I like the little heart on its head. It's very cool, though. It's very cool Pokemon. So yeah, I think it's a fun Pokemon. Uh, also, dragon fighting. I think that one might be normal dra just dragon, actually. Uh, the middle form. You're all right. I'd put you... You're okay. You're a solid okay. Solid, comfortable in C tier. Don't get me wrong. It's a comfy C tier. But it's... Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of most middle evos, generally. Dragon is a big exception. Uh, dra dragon is shell gone. But I'm a, I'm a big final Evo kind of guy. With Pokemon, I guess Hydra. Uh, Hydra yeah, there's a few, there's a few middle Evos. But usually I'm a final Evo preference kind of guy. Or the babies, I like them when they're really cute, or when they're giant terrifying monsters. That's like the two vibes of Bane. Uh, but yeah, it's it's fine, it's cool. Um. Komoo, or Jangmoo, whichever the fuck this thing's name is. The full of all form. Is very, very fun to use. I genuinely like this Pokemon. Uh, you are probably... You're definitely in B tier. I think that Pseudonus... pseudo Legendarius is getting you above Flygon. Hey, Sheepbeard, how you doing? Yeah, I really like... I can't fucking remember its name. I've used this Pokemon. It's really fun to use. I genuinely love it. But... It doesn't quite stack up to a few of the other pseudos as well. 
But it is very fun to use. Dragon fighting is a really fun combo. We'll get to another Pokemon is in dragon fighting later who I prefer to it. But it is a really, really cool one. So, yeah. Lo love the Pokemon. Really fun. Always happy to use it. Used it in Teal Mask. In Pokemon Skull, in the Teal Mask. It was a very, very cool Pokemon. I love it. But yeah, it just doesn't quite match up well to some of the others that are just higher tier. That's all it is. I have to be a bit more objective with this to keep it balanced up because they're all dragon types and I can't put them all in S tier. Come on. As much as I want to. Now, we are getting to the best cry in Pokemon. Ah! You know exactly what tier this boy is going in. Guzzlord! Uh, Guzzlord, do I... Okay. This is going to be an interesting one. Where do I put him in A tier? He's born for A tier. Where do I put him? Yeah, I love Guzzlord. Guzzlord is such a cool Pokemon. I really like him. You know what? You get the honourable spot just behind Dialga. For reference, Guzzlord is a really bad Pokemon. Cricket Tot is a dragon eater. <laughs> yeah, Guzzlord... Oh, oh, yeah, also, Cricket Dot has one of the other best cries in Pokemon. -da 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 -boop. Love it. Love Cricket Dude. Yeah. Also a fantastic cry. But in the anime, Guzzlord just screams. It's just the voice actor going, Ah! But yeah, I really like it. It's on my um, gym leader team in the current uh, Pokemon tournament I'm in, the gym leader league. Um, it is on my gym leader team. It's very fun. I like it. It's big, it's thick. I, I love it. I love its design as well. I think it's a really, really good design. The big gluttonous, like, black hole of a Pokemon. I think it's really sick. I really love it. It's my favourite Ultra Beast as well. The Ultra Beasts have some comp competition with it. Uh, most notably, Feramosa I also really like. I think feramosa has got a really cool design. Uh, also, it's Matara Khan, the VTuber, is also Feramosa, which I really think is kind of sick. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. I'd say Guzzler is my favorite Ultra Beast. So, hell yeah. Love the thing. Now, Ultra Necrozma, the guiding, blinding light of the sun. I fucking adore this Pokemon. This Pokemon is so fucking cool looking. I adore it. I genuinely love it. One of the strongest Pokemon ever made. Absolute beat stick of a thing. Uh, on like almost as powerful as it's like it's one of the Pokemon that kind of on par with um, complete Zygarde and Mega Rayquaza in terms of raw power. This thing is insane. So I'm gonna put you. Where do I put you? You're competing with these things, honestly. You might even be the bottom of S tier. I really like this Pokemon. No, you lose that to Latias, but you beat Eye Dragon. I prefer it slightly to Eye Dragon, I think. I really like this thing. I'm going to hate it because I know I've got to fight that bastard in Ultra Sun at some point uh, on stream. He's probably going to wipe me a few times. He is apparently devastating in Ultra Sun. Like, he's an absolute nightmare. I am uh, not looking forward to the fight. I'm looking forward to the fight. We'll find out. But yeah, I love its design. I love its build. I love its ability. It's the glass cannon. It's a giant cannon of a Pokemon. It's no durability whatsoever. But it's got the it's got the cannon part. So it'll kill most things that fight it. It's really cool. I love the golden design. I love that it comes from Necrozma's design as well. I like that it's a dragon. It just it just works. Right. Uh I cannot remember this thing, so I'm going to call it the Needle because I don't want to accidentally mispronounce anything and get myself banned. Uh, the Needle. The Needle Pokemon. I like this thing. I think it's pretty cool. It's it's not Guzzlord, though. It's not Guzzlord. Uh, I think it's kind of a cool design, though. So, you're going... Yeah, you go there. About there. I think solid middle of the road B tier is pretty good for it. I think it's a very cool Pokemon. Never fucking used it. Don't know if I ever will. But I'll be kind of down to give it a try, right? It's kind of a cool design. I kind of like the sort of mosquito-y missile vibe. 
that it's got going. So yeah, I, I genuinely really like it. It's kind of neat. Uh, but I wouldn't put it much higher than that. I, I, it's like, it's, it's fun, but maybe I'll like it more later. Okay, now we get to some fucking weird shit. Because uh, we're going to Gen 8. Okay, Applin. I'm going to be honest, I love Applin a lot. Applin is such a cute little little fucker. Um, I think you go just behind Dratini. I love Applin. I love apples. Apples are my favorite fruit as well. And I love red apples. I think it's a cool idea. It's a little, little worm. I, it's a cool idea for a Pokemon. I really like it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a fun one. Uh, Gigantamax Apple. Yeah, it's a cool little dragon apple. It's, an, it's a fun idea. I love the concept that they came up with it. It's a very, it's an inspired idea. Not all the apples are in one section, by the way, because one came out in Gen 9. So we'll get to the other one later. Now we get to our first Gigantamax on this list, though. Uh, also, I swear that didn't... I also pretty sure that we're missing a Gigantamax on here, because I think Dragapult also has a Gigantamax. But it's not on the list. But Drag Gigantamax is probably going to be the same area that... Gigantamax, um, Dragapult, that normal Dragapult's gonna be. So, just remember, bear that in mind. It's the only one that wasn't on this. This is the closest list I could find. But yeah, I have never, I've seen this thing in, in, I've not actually played Sword and Shield, I need to preface. So the GMAXs are probably the ones I know the least about. Uh, I know what they do, and I, I know a few of the major ones you see. This one you don't see in the actual game. Oh, is there no official one? That's fine. I thought there was one. I thought it was like a uh, missile, a missile launcher. Oh, I guess it's not here. It must have been fan design that I saw. I thought it was official. But yeah, I like the G Max Apple. Uh, I think it's kind of neat. I'll put you... I'll put you around where Apple is. I think I'll put you slightly behind the Apple. I kind of like it. I love the Apple Dragons as a concept, so they're all they're all pretty good. Flapple... I have used Flapple. Flapple's fun. I kind of like the design, honestly. I think it's very neat. Like the Apple peel turns into wings. It's like the dragon. I like it. You're probably going just above the baby Apple. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the thing that I was thinking it loses a point. Like, there's no differentiating between the pair. They're just the same one, but they do different things. So it's a bit... Eh. But it's cool. It's a very cool design. Like, it's a good design and I get it. I, I just wish they were different ones. Uh, and Apple Turn, you're probably going just behind it. Again, Flapple's my favourite of the, of the original Apples. Flapple is my favourite. We'll get to my favourite actual Apple... Later on, when we get to it, because it's not in yet. Well, it's not in this tier list yet. We're gonna get to. We're gonna get to it later. So, uh, Dracozolt. Dracozolt's an interesting one. So, the Steve Jobs Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, Dracozolt, the Drump Truck Pokemon. I think this thing is kind of cool. I have never used it. I've heard it's very fun, though. Um, I will at some point use it, I'm sure. But it's cool. I kind of like it. I like its dorky design. Um, I love that it's actually a paleontology reference because all the fucking time... Yeah, the flavor's great. All the fucking time in actual paleontology, they go, oh, these bones clearly go together, and they absolutely don't. And they find out, like, ten years later, it's like, oh, that's a different animal. Uh, which is very fun, and I genuinely like that. So, I love the reference. Uh, so, but the design, I love the tail. The head part, it looks funny. It reminds me of the dragon butts from Dark Souls 1. The ones in the painted world. So, I will put you a comfy spot. Just behind Drudagon, I think. I think it's kind of cool. But I, I don't think it's getting much past it. Now, Dracovish, however, I love Dracovish. Dracovish is awesome. 
I really enjoyed using it in Poker Rogue. I've wanted to use this thing for ages. And I finally got the chance in Poker Rogue. I want to use it in actual competitive Pokemon. Really badly. I, this is my favorite of that generation of fossils. And it's one of my favorite fossils. It might just be behind... Um, like the top spots. Yeah. Great anime voices. Ooh la la. Or something like that, isn't it? But yeah, I really like it. Also, this thing is busted good. Uh, with Fisher's Wren, like Choice Scarf at Fisher's Wren. It, oh, that's dirty. So yeah, I'm putting you... Hmm. You know what? Dracovish, I genuinely enjoy using you. You're going to the top of BT. You're going above Palkia. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, the head is on. The head's on right way up for that one. It's just on the end of the tail. The other one is Arctivish. Is the head is on upside down, which is very funny. Yeah, Dracovish, you're you're one of my favorite water dragons, honestly. So I I like it. It's very cool. So yeah, Dracovish, Dracovish is going there. Now, G-Max Doraladon. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of G-Max Doraladon, okay? It's fine. It's fine. It's probably my least favorite of all Gigantamaxes. Yeah, the shard, yeah. It's probably my least favorite of the Gigantamaxes of all of them. And that's really saying, like, I, I do not like it very much compared to the others. Oh, my God. Was it a small loaf of bread or a big loaf of bread? Are we talking, like, Fido or Daxmon? Uh, but, yeah, GMX Draladon. You know what? You're probably going around Dragonite. I'd probably go to Dragonite, I'd say, but... There's not a lot in it. It's there. It's fine. It's 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 whatever. I'm not a huge fan of it overall. It is by far the weakest G-Max. It's still a dragon though. Remember, E tier and this is still pretty good. Um, it's just for dragons. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, you'll be you'll be feeling that later. You can run a marathon now. But yeah, um, it's my le it's my least favorite. Also, I think it's a massive downgrade because normal Duraladon, I think, looks sick. I really like Duraladon. Duraladon itself, I really love it. It's a cool one. It's Steel Dragon, which I love. It's the Ace of Raihan, which is always a good shout. Uh, being an Ace of so as someone's Ace is cool. Ace of a final gym leader as well. Uh, we'll get to something else it does later, but I really like it. I have one in my uh, gym team as well. I have a Eevee like Duraladon, and it's very fun to use. I do like it. It's not great. Duraladon's not an amazingly powerful Pokemon, but it's cool. It's a real, it's a real Pokemon, which also I love that it got banned like 24 hours before it, before its evolution was released in Baby Cup because this thing is technically would, but it, if it wasn't banned, Duraladon, a 535 I think stat point started Pokemon. Would be legal in Baby Cup if it wasn't per if it wasn't actually banned because it's a real Pokemon. See so yeah, it, Duraladon. You are going a comfy spot somewhere around here, probably after Dragonair. I do really like it. I I think it's a very fun Pokemon. I love the big like brick. See the way I say it's a downgrade. By the way, it's two tiers above. Like it's two, it's three tiers above. It's Gigantamax. I think the Dragonite is a massive downgrade from the original. I think the original is pretty cool. Now then, we get to the ammunition. The, the we get we get to the ammunition section of the stream. Dreepy Dreepy is very cute. Dreepy is very cute. I love I do I love the little like man array catapult bullet. Arrow thing. It's a ghost. It's very cute. You might... Yeah, I think you go above Gumi. I think it's a very, very cute little Pokemon. I really like it. Uh, Dracloak. I like Dracloak quite a bit. I actually found out recently it's got the same speed stat as Garchomp, which is horrifying because it's the middle Evo. It evolves way too fucking late. Yeah, exactly. 
A Dracloak's cool, though. I do really like Dracloak. It's a very, very fun Pokemon. It's pretty good. Uh, but I like the design of Dreepy a bit more. And, yeah, it's it's cool. But I'd say you go above the apples. That's a decent spot. Again, C tier, not bad. And we'll re-preference it again. C tier's pretty good. Uh, I just prefer Dreepy because Dreepy's cuter. Now then, Dragapult. Dragapult is a Pokemon that I'm apparently never allowed to use because every single time I go, oh, I can use it. I can't use it. Or there's like a better choice. <coughs> it's a really annoying f thing that I have noticed. Uh, it is either banned in every tier that I would like to use it in. Or there's better choices in the same tier. It's really aggravating. But I do really, really like Dragapult. Dragapult is cool. I love that it's the baby, <laughs> baby ammo Pokemon. It literally fires babies at people. I really like it. It's fast as fuck. I like using it complete offense. It's a cool Pokemon. I love its design. I love the typing. Dragon Ghost is always cool. Dragapult. Are you the top of B tier? You might be the top of B tier now. I don't quite... Do I like it? I might like it off to A, actually. Yeah, I think I prefer it to Latios. I am going to put Dragapult above Latios. Bottom end of A tier, but A tier is still fucking good. Look at its competition. Yeah, it's great. I love Dragapult. Dragapult is awesome Pokemon. I, I really like it. And I really hope that someday, someday, I will get to use it. To be honest, when I, I'm eventually going to buy Pokemon Sword, I will try my damnedest to be able to use one. Admittedly, because I'm going to keep mostly to level caps, not like soft level caps. I probably won't really be able to use Dragapult much until the fi freaking final boss, Leon. But I'll try my best. This is a very, very good pseudo legendary. It's a really good, good pseudo. So. Ah yes, Master Hand, the highest started Pokemon in existence. The only Pokemon that is too powerful to be allowed player access. Eternamax Eternatus. It is Master Hand. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, but the fact that you can't use it loses it a lot of points. So I'll put you here. Cool story beat. Very cool Pokemon. Yeah, physical embodiment of a high five. <laughs> it's a really cool Pokemon. I like it. It's fun. It does work in uh, Poker Rogue, obviously. I, I think it's cool. I don't know if you get to use it in Poker Rogue. It'd be very cool if you could. I don't know if you can. I know you can use Eternatus in Poker Rock. I don't know if you can use the Turnamax version. But it is a very, very cool Pokemon. And I think it's just awesome. I also love that it's the, only, that it's, uh, the highest health stat in Pokemon. Um, it's still tied with Blissey, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, normal Eternatus now. Now, normal Eternatus is actually usable. I really like Eternatus. It's, it's the biggest Pokemon existence that you can use. I really like it. I'm going to put you just behind Mega Salamence. I really like this thing. It's fast. It's powerful. It's really fucking cool. Dynamax can is such a cool name for an ability. It's a very, 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 very cool Pokemon. I love its design as well. It's kind of a weird, like, alien, but shardy. Like, it doesn't look... It looks like a demon. It looks like a freaking monster. I really like it. it. It looks completely bizarre and unlike anything else. Like the only Pokemon I can really compare Eternatus to with any reasonable amount of like, oh, they look kind of similar. Not really. They, they look similar to each other, but they look like they were created by the same like guy is Ultra Necrozma. Who I prefer Ultra Necrozma to Eternatus. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I believe it was. It is, I think... Oh, what the fuck is it supposed to be? I, I believe it is supposed to be, like, the embodiment of energy in Galar. Like, it, it's the thing that gives Galar its... The Eternamax. The, the, the Gigantamaxing. It is, like, a being that they basically just got, which makes all the energy. I think it's an alien. Maybe. Or it might have been a manifestation that was made when they were using weird energy. It's something like that. It's really fucking cool, whatever it is. But yeah, it, it's really, really cool. I really like it. Eternatus, Eternatus, very cool Pokemon. 
Reggie Drago, the best Reggie. Don't at me. Uh, it's, it's got a Charizard head. It's a big fan. Uh, I like Reggie Drago a lot. I have used it a bit. Uh, in Poker Rogue as well. Do, you, do I like you more than Duraludon? Not more than Duraludon, but more than Negan, Negan, the needle thing. Yeah, I think I think there's a good spot. It's got the most powerful dragon move in existence. Oh, I fucking love Reggie Gigas. Don't get me wrong. I have used him and I've made him great. I love Reggie Gigas. I was so sad I failed to catch Reggie Gigas in Poker Rogue. I was so annoyed about that. Uh, but he was about to wipe my entire team, so I had to kill him. I think he died to poison if memory serves as well. But I will get you eventually, Reggie Gigas. But yeah, I, I really like Reggie Drago. For instance, Reggie, Dra Reggie Gigas is probably my second favorite Reggie. I just really, really like Reggie Drago. I, I do. It's a very, very fun Pokemon. I love its design. I love how its vibe as well. I love its ability. I love what it does. Reggie Drago is just a cool idea for a Pokemon. So... I also love its lore. Uh, Reggie Drago is literally was made. So all the Regis were made for different things by Reggie Gigas, right? Uh, Reggie Drago is the we need to destroy the world button. That's literally what he made it for. Reggie Gigas made Reggie Drago to be a living nuclear weapon. It was there because dragon energy just destroys things. That's apparently what it does. It's why the dragon Pokemon are so powerful. Yeah, that's apparently the law for Reggie Drago. It's a contingency plan in case Reg get Reggie Gigas never needs to destroy the world. Which is kind of a fucking beast of a law drop, right? But yeah, Reggie Drago, very, very cool Pokemon. Really like it. Great law. Great design as well. Like the, the, the orb with the two dragon head bits. And, it, and also, dragon energy in the original game. And Dragon Age Inquisition. Exactly. <laughs> and the Apocalypse. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. One moment, please. Okay, I am back. Aha. But yeah, I really like Reggie Drago. It's an awesome Pokemon. So, yeah, fun times. Now we're getting to Gen 9. Uh, Gen 9 had a lot. Actually, no, we're still technically in Gen 8 uh, because there are two Gen 8 Pokemon left. But they're coming to them at the end because they're on the end of the list. Uh, Cyclozar. I kind of like Cyclozar. I like it. It's a weird Pokemon. I do like that it's the present day equivalent of two legendaries, though, which is pretty fun. Two of the strongest legendaries they've ever made as well. It's a very, very cool little Pokemon. A really fun time. I like it. It's fast as fuck, by the way. If you haven't seen how fast that thing is, go look it up. It's really quick. So, yeah. Really cool. Love that it's, it's got cool references. I like it. Uh, Cyclozar. I don't like you as much as Gudra, but you're pretty good. I think I like it more than Dracloak, so I'm putting it directly behind Rotini. I'd say that's a solid spot to put him. He's cool. I love his way he's going. His way he says, it's like a Wookiee. To me, it's like a mechanical Wookiee noise, which is very fun. Now we get to the Tatsugiris. I actually kind of dig the Tatsugiris. Uh, I'm going to put all three Tatsugiris next to each other. Just at the bottom end of C. Uh, right. They are all very cool. I don't mind the fact. People go, why are they dragons? Rah, rah, rah. Nah, I kind of like that they're dragons. I'm not going to lie. It's like hyper-intelligent, tiny little nuclear fish. That's a sushi. I kind of dig it. Yeah, the sushi is dragon. 
The sushi is a dragon. I kind of dig it, you know? It's a bit of a weird one, but I kind of like it. Exactly. Exactly, that's why. It's like, I, I like it. And my favorite one is obviously the salmon one. Uh, Not the salmon one, the tuna one. The tuna one is the best one because I think it's the coolest. Uh, not the classic one and not the cod one. Or not the haddock or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. But yeah, that's my, that's my order for the tatsus. I like them. They're cool. They're fun time. Not a fan. That's fair. They already love them or hate them one. I kind of like them. I can't eat sushi. It disagrees with me. Now then. Mm, I can't remember the name of this Pokemon. Shit. The middle one's Arctabax, the big one's Baxcalibur. Uh, what the hell is the, are the baby called? Fridgebax, that was his name. My brain just died there. I definitely know that Pokemon. So Fridgebax. I really like Fridgebax. I think it's cool. It's not the best design, but it's kind of cute. So I'm going to put you behind Altar, Mega Altaria, I think. I do really like it. It's very cute. I love using it in Poker Rogue as well. It's a very fun little Pokemon. I like it. But it's the baby. It's probably one of the weakest pseudo-legendary babies. I think I actually voted it as the weakest pseudo-legendary baby in terms of coolness. Uh, I'm like 99% sure I have, actually. Yeah, I did. It's it's the it's my least... Yeah, I think I'd agree. It's my least favorite of the pseudo-legendary babies. But it's still cool. It's still, it's still a nice one. Octobax... I genuinely like Arctobax. Arctobax is such a good upgrade over um, Fridgebax. I like that it's got like the Spinosaurus. Well, actually, it's got it's got more like the solid theropod. It's like a a uh, it's like a little mini T Rex. It's not even it's not quite right for a Spinosaurus, despite the glaive on its back. It's still it's very t more like heavy set theropod, like an Allosaurus or something. I really like it. Uh, I think it's very, very cool. So I will put you above Duraludon, like around Dragonair, which I think is a very worthy spot for him. He's a very cool Pokemon. I really like it. Now then, Baxcalibur, or Gigan, as I prefer to call it, because everyone goes, oh, Baxcalibur, it's based on Godzilla. No, it's not. Baxcalibur is based on Gigan, one of the villains from Godzilla. It's not based off Godzilla himself. It is Gigan. It is a very cool Pokemon. I love Baxcalibur. Baxcalibur, I have used it more recently. I, it took me a while to figure out how I liked Baxcalibur. Because originally when I was using it, it's like, it's good. It is very, very powerful. I could tell it was. I couldn't get away that I liked to run it. Okay? Originally with Bax. Since then, I have found several ways that I like to run it. I really like this Pokemon. It's a very fun one. I am never unhappy to use it. So, Baxcalibur, you are a comfortable A tier. But where are you in A tier? That's the question. Hmm. You're not quite S. You're, you're getting there, but you're not quite S. Do I prefer you to Hydreigon? That's the real question. I think I prefer High Dragon a little bit more. I really like Baxcalibur. Do not get me wrong. I really like Baxcalibur. But once again, it's got some really stiff competition in this in, in this game. In this tier list. It's got... Look where it's sitting. Look what it beat. It beat Giratina. It beat Dialga. It beat... Complete form Zygarde. It's great. But... It's an amazing, amazing, amazing Pokemon. I really, really enjoy using it. It's a great time. And I love that it's a giant fucking tank that hits really hard. It's the highest uh, physical attack of any pseudo-legendary by a lot. But I think like 10. So yeah, it's very powerful and I really like using it. 
Now then. This is the main Pokemon that I don't know where to put it. Roaring Moon. I fucking love Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is an awesome Pokemon. My favorite Paradox Pokemon. Yeah, Roaring Moon is great. Roaring Moon is probably one of my most successful Pokemon in Poker Rogue as well. I love this thing. It's an absolute beat stick. Uh, it's insanely powerful. I've used it. It's Mega Salamence. Yeah, it's be it's better than Mega Salamence. It's definitely getting above Mega Salamence. I am debating whether... I love the typing as well. Dragon Dark is fun. I love the type. I it's definitely beating... It's definitely beating... Um, High Dragon. It's definitely beating you. Do I want to put it behind Latias, above Latias, or at the bottom of S tier? That's the problem I have. I love this thing. Roaring Moon is great. But I think I'm putting it... Yeah, I think I'm putting it very high A tier. And there's actually a different, interesting reason. What loses it most of the points is Roaring Moon's existence pushes pretty much every other dragon in competitive Pokemon down a bit. Roaring Moon is so powerful. It's insanely powerful. Um, I'd say, why wouldn't you use it? That kind of power. It's very, very good. It's very, very fun. I love it. It's a great design. I love everything about it. Don't get me wrong. It loses points because it means that I it, it counters some of the dragons that I would prefer to use. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, because sometimes it's cool it's cool to just have fun with a big giant beat stick. Um it's great. I've used it in a multiple I've used it in the uh Indigo Disc DLC for Poker for Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, I've used it so much in Poker Rogue, it's probably one of my most used Pokemon in Poker Rogue. Uh it's fantastic. It's absolutely fucking fantastic. And I love it. I love its design, I love everything. Yeah. But it, it loses out on a few points. But it's such a good Pokemon. Yeah. I, I like it. Honestly, if it come if it stays in the next generation and uh, Terra's not a thing, I think it would be much more balanced and much more you much more fair to use. It's a little too good with Terra. And I know people go, oh it's not that good. It, it is. It is exactly that good. Um I'm just surprised that people haven't had the success with it that I have, because my god. Like, holy crap. This thing is insane. Uh, at least in singles. I know it's a slightly worse in doubles, uh, but it's a giant beat sticker Pokemon. It is... It's so good in singles. Now then. Coridon. Coridon. Coridon, Coridon, Coridon. Actually, you know what? No. I'm, I'm moving Roaring Moon. There. You're going above Origin Giratina. But here's another bit, which I'm also going to do. Latios. Oh, Latias. My adorable little Latias. Uh, I, I, had a, I had a decision when I was looking through that, for a brief instant. Latias is getting moved up to S tier as well, and she's beating Giratina. Basically, those two are getting moved above Origin Giratina. I fucking love the pair of them. I really like them. So... Origin Giratina, you're amazing. You're still in S tier, though. But I'm just making S tier a little bit bigger. Which means Ultra Crosby is now the king of uh, A tier. Good on him. I was just realizing this, like, I really like these Pokemon a lot. They deserve to be in S tier. But yeah, Coridon. Now, Coridon is also going in S tier above Origin Giratina. Coridon took, my fav uh, took my the spot as my uh, second favorite legendary, probably. Uh, I really like it. It's an absolute monster. I love the story for it. I love how it looks. I love it shiny. I love how it works. I love everything about it. It even puts up the sun for me. Come on. I really, really like it. It's a physical attack. I love its law as well. Like, Coridon's law is literally... It is very confident in its abilities. Because it knows it's a badass. Like, it's not cocky about it. It's very confident. Is the Winged King. I love it. It's literally bright red. It goes black on its shiny, which keeps these 
white and red wings on its head. I adore Coridon. Coridon is really, really, really cool. It's not being Rayquaza, and it's not taking my top spots off. But I really like it. Between Coridon and Giratina is definitely for my second favorite legendary Pokemon. It's between those two. It's got some good competition as well. There's a few other Pokemon that aren't on this list that are also in my favorite legendary select section. But I love Coridon so much. I also love that Coridon literally sets up the premise of the uh, dinosaur Pokemon, essentially. Because it's the Paradox T-Rex, essentially. But yeah, Coridon, fucking awesome Pokemon. Slightly loses that to Roaring Moon, but that's just because Roaring Moon is a Salamance. And it looks, it looks slightly neater to me. But I really, really love Coridon as well. Miraidon. Miraidon is also very, very cool. But I'm not the biggest, like, sci-fi lightning dragon vibe type of person. It's very cool, don't get me wrong. But I prefer dinosaurs to robots, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I say for, Cor for Miraidon, it's definitely great. I think I'd put him bottom of A tier. He's really good. He's insanely powerful. Uh, but I prefer Coridon. Genuinely. Like, significantly as well. I do really love Maridon. Do not get me wrong. I really, really love Maridon. But... I literally am just looking at the A-tier and going, Yeah, I prefer all of these. I prefer all of these to Maridon. They're just great. As I say, it's still really good. It's in A-tier. It's in the second highest tier of the tier list of my favourite type. It's good. It's really cool. I love it. The robot dragon is a very slick, sweet design. And it's got a gorgeous color scheme as well. Like, it's it's a beautiful Pokemon. But it just loses that to a lot of the others because they have, a lot of the others are also really fucking good. Now. Walking Wake. I love Walking Wake. Walking Wake is an amazing Pokemon. Was also joining Roaring Moon on my um, Beat the Indigo disc. Team. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Yeah, this one is going to be um, posted on YouTube as well. This this video is getting put on YouTube. Because if I decide to make an entire list of, like, the tier lists, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to upload them all. Uh, Walking Wake, I'm going to put you above Tyrant, I think. Walking Wake is really cool. I, okay, so I need to preface this right now. I fucking love the Paradox Dinos way more than the Beasts, than the Legendary Beasts. I think that the Paradox Dinos are a massive upgrade on all the Paradox be on all the normal uh, Beasts. I think the Walking Wake is in immensely cooler than Suicune. And I like Suicune, don't get me wrong. I like the Legendary Beasts. I think they're very, very cool Pokemon. But the Paradox Dinos are just better. They are literally strict upgrades to me. I fucking love them. And the Theropod look, oh, Walking Wake is great. It's also a water Pokemon that goes on a sun team, which is really cool. Also, Water Dragon, again, amazing type combo. Uh, Probably my favorite Water Dragon. Yeah, it's my favorite Water Dragon in existence. Yeah, it, it just is. Awesome, awesome, awesome Pokemon. Now, Driplin. I will refuse not to call him Driplin. He's got the Drip. Uh, the candy apple. I love this thing. This one is significantly better than all the other apples for me. Uh, I'm going to put him above Cyclozar. He's, he's a good bit. Have I, I I really like him. Also love that you could use an Eviolite immediately. Because it's kind of like a teaser for things to come. Uh, but yeah, I really like Diff playing. It's a fun Pokemon. Uh, not much more to say because I'll get into more of that on Hydrapple. But yes. Before we get to Hydrapple, we have to have the newest pseudo-legendary. And I personally count it as a pseudo-legendary. I know a lot of people don't because it's not got an original evolution. But here's my thought. What if in the next game they put in a baby? Then it'll meet the normal pseudo-legendary requirements. So yeah, our Caladon, the Bridge of Doom, the Railgun himself. I fucking love our Caladon. I'm not going to lie. Another member on my Indigo Disc team. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Top of A tier. I love Arcaladon a lot. Arcaladon is fucking cool. I love using this thing. This thing is close on S tier. It's close. 
this was another reason when I was looking at the list is like Arcaladon was on there. It's like, ooh, how do I compete it? Yeah, Arcaladon, top of A tier. I don't think it's going to move from top of A tier either. Look at what's left. Yeah, I don't think it's moving. I really, really like Arcaladon. It's such a cool idea. It needed it. Duraldon really needed the Evo. Uh, Arcaladon's got one of my favorite abilities in the entirety of Pokemon. It's got stamina. Give this thing an Assault Vest. Give it Body Press. Uh, Draco Meteor. Uh, Electro Shot. And what's the other move that I usually give him? Oh, and Flash Cannon. You don't need anything else. Arcaladon is such a beast of a Pokemon. I absolutely love it. Very, very fun. I love... I just love everything about it. I just look, really, really, really like this Pokemon. It's one of my preferred tank Pokemon to use. And I'm looking forward to probably using it more in the future as well. I really like it. The reason why it's not quite in S tier... It takes a lot of other stuff to get going. Um, you, you need to do a lot of legwork to put it into the spot where it's great. Uh, well, actually, you don't. But it it needs a lot of, like, TMs and stuff to be, to really pop. And also, because Electro Shot is a two-turn move, you get a little bit lacking on it. Uh, and I refuse to play in a rain team, because I think if you use rain, you're cringe. Now we get to Hydrapple. Hydrapple, the final evolution. Apple. Uh, I really fucking love this thing. It is a really cool idea for a Pokemon. I'm going to put you just buying Gudra. You're almost in a tier above Gudra as well. You're almost B tier. You know what, actually? I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm I'm having some thoughts about it. Kingdra, you're getting put down a C tier. I like you, Kingdra. Do not get me wrong, but you're putting down a tier. Seeing what I'm also putting around in the same stuff, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Essentially, I I really like Hydrapple. Hydrapple's so cool. Uh, it's another just walking tank of a Pokemon. Uh, I really like it. It's by far my favorite of the apples. Um, it also gives me hope that the other apples might get final Evos as well. For me, like, if Flapple and Appleton got another Evo, I think that would be slick. So, really hope they do that. Keep doing that. Okay. Gouging Fire. Gouging Fire. My favorite Fire Dragon that's a normal, usable Pokemon. Uh, Gouging Fire is my favorite of the Paradox Beasts. The Paradox Dinos. Yeah, put him above that. Yeah, I really like him. I I called that he was going to be a Triceratops. I love Fire Dragon type. He's tanky as fuck. He's he's good. He's just a great Pokemon. He is absolutely outstanding. I love using him. I want to use him more. He's such a blast to use. Uh, I'm really annoyed that my one in Pokerog is really bad. I have Guarding Fire, but it's really bad nature and not great IVs, so... We're going to make him work, but at some point I will get him in a run and I'll be able to... Well, I'll, I'll use him in a run and get a better mint for him and it'll all be solid. So yeah, Gouging Fire, great Pokemon. Awesome, absolutely love it. Kind of wish that he was the T-Rex version, but I like... I like the Triceratops version, I think it does work. Uh, Raging Bolt. Ooh, you, you, I'd say you're, yeah, I prefer you to Walking Wake, but not by a lot. They, those two are very, very close together. Okay, Gouging Fire is a little bit above them both, but those two are both. I love all three of them. They're absolute, actually, you know what? I'm putting Zygo Complete a bit further forward, so I can put them just next to each other. I absolutely love them all. Um, yeah, exactly. So, they're just so great. You can't go wrong with dinosaurs. Like, all three of them are absolutely amazing Pokemon. They're dinos. I love them. Ah, oh, god damn. I've got something in my nose and I think it's hurting me a lot. What have I got? I've got a splinter or something. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a splinter. Actual just chunk of wood. Don't know where that came from. Did I bang my head yesterday? I might have. I remember, I was in a bit of a blur yesterday. I was very tired. I spent the entire day out. And played bowling with family. It was fun. But yeah, I, 
how could we put those three there? Now, we've done all the normal ones, so let's do the Hisuian variants of uh, Gudra. Hisuian Sligu, honestly, kind of legit. I'm putting Hisuian Sligu above Sligu. You know, I like it. I like it a little bit more. But not overly. But I do very much like it. Hisuian Gudra, however, uh, I really like you. You're a big improvement over Gudra. I think I'll put you below Palkia, which is a very respectable spot. Uh, it loses that because Arcaladon exists as a Dragon Steel type, and Dialga also exists, which is a Dragon Steel type. I love Dragon Steel as a combo, for reference. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome combination. Absolutely love it. And I think his Wing Gudra is a blast to use as well, so yeah. But yes, here is. My dragon type Pokemon tier list. It was a damn good time to do this, honestly. Oh. I accidentally zoomed out too far. Uh, can I do this? Hey, you know what? There's nothing in F tier. So yeah, that, that is the tier list completed. Thank you. I was like, I love dragon types. I can't say more than genuinely I do. Uh, so my top spot, literally it's the tide between uh, Garchomp, Rayquaza, Charizard. My top spots. Honestly, the vast majority of these are a lot of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I don't think there's a single Pokemon on here that I would be unhappy to use. Right. That's the big thing about Dragon types. They're all great. They're all really great. In the bulk is S. That's fair. I, it's like, I, entirely, it's a personal one. Oh yeah, we don't have Origin Giratina. We don't have the Origin Palkia or Origin Dialga on this list. Um... Origin Dialga, probably above normal Giratina, but below Reshiram. Uh, Origin Palkia, probably below Palkia by quite a bit, actually. I don't like the design of Origin Palkia. I think it's fine. I really like, I think it's really cool to use in battle, but I don't really like its design. I think normal Palkia goes harder. Uh, and for reference, I like every single Pokemon on this list. The only four Pokemon on this whole list that I would literally go, I am not, oh, I'm down to use it, or I don't actively like all the Pokemon in E tier. And the Pokemon in E tier, they're still good. And I still would use them. For reference. But, and this is the big but, they are the weakest for me personally of my preference for the dragons. That is all. They are my least favorite of the dragon type, which is my favorite type. And as you can tell by the positioning of some of these Pokemon, some of these Pokemon that people know I actively love. This was our lot of choice. Dragon type is by far the hardest choice to pick. The lot. Because I love them all. Uh, I'm probably going to go in my favorites order. If I go in my favorites order for typings. Dark is going to be fourth. Because I love dark type. So dark type is one I really want to do. Because I love dark types. And I want to know where I personally rack a lot of them up against each other. Because I know what my favourite is for Dark Type. But why do the rest stack up? So, I do want to do Dark Type at some point. But I probably want to do Fire next. If, if I'm going to do another one of these... I don't know when I'm going to do the rest of these, by the way. It's going to be literally whenever I feel like it. But Dark is one of the ones I'm almost certain to do. Because I really like Dark Types. Um. So yeah. This is the Dragon Type tier list. I really enjoyed doing this, honestly. I have got a sore throat now. But yeah, this was an absolute blast. I absolutely love doing it. I also realized I put Lat I literally, like, Latias is above Coridon. I guess Latias is my second favorite legendary, thinking about it. But I do love her. She's very cute. Uh, so yeah. I will be calling it here. I do hope you all enjoyed and had a good discussion. And yeah, these are my personal picks for reference. They're all good. Every dragon's good. 
Uh, you will never go wrong putting any dragon type on your team. That's my opinion. Genuinely. Uh, no matter the tier, like, whatever you want to do. Dragon types are my favorite type in Pokemon. They always have been. They always will be. Uh, nothing's taking the top, th those, them off of that position. They are, they are my vibe of Pokemon. Aha, nice. But yes, uh, I will, I might be playing more Poker Rope tomorrow. I might not stream tomorrow because I'm going to be working in the morning as well. With I'm going to be helping my uncle out with some stuff. So, I might be too knackered to stream. I'll try to stream something, but I don't know what it's going to be. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I hope you enjoyed the tier list. I will do more of these at some point. I don't know when. Probably when my throat's recovered. Because I shout a lot during these, because I get really into the conversation. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. If you keep playing video games, keep awesome. And guess, oh, the best one on Twitch. Enjoy yourselves, guys. Have a wonderful evening and a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much for listening. Good night. See ya!